S.P. Miskowski's short story, The Worst is Yet to Come, is a haunting and thought-provoking tale that explores the complex and often unpredictable nature of human relationships. Set in a small town in the aftermath of a devastating flood, the story follows two sisters, Mary and Jean, as they struggle to come to terms with their traumatic past and uncertain future. One of the key themes that emerges in the story is the idea of hidden trauma and the way it can shape a person's worldview and behavior. Mary and Jean are both clearly scarred by the flood and the loss of their home, but they express their grief and anxiety in very different ways. Mary is stoic and withdrawn, keeping her emotions bottled up inside and lashing out at those who try to help her. Jean, on the other hand, is more openly emotional, frequently breaking down in tears and clinging to her sister for comfort. As the story progresses, it becomes clear that the sister's relationship is strained by their divergent coping mechanisms. Mary resents Jean's neediness and emotional outbursts, while Jean feels isolated and unsupported by Mary's emotional distance. This tension comes to a head in a powerful scene near the end of the story, when Mary confronts Jean about her behavior and tries to force her to face the reality of their situation. This confrontation is a turning point in the story as it reveals the depth of Mary's pain and her struggle to maintain her composure in the face of overwhelming loss. By this point, the reader has come to understand that Mary's emotional detachment is not a sign of callousness or indifference, but a defense mechanism that allows her to keep going in the face of unimaginable hardship. In a sense, Mary's stoicism is her way of surviving even as she recognizes that the worst is yet to come. Another key theme in the story is the idea of community and the way it can both support and constrain individuals in times of crisis. The flood has forced the residents of the town to come together in order to survive, but this sense of shared struggle does not necessarily translate into a sense of solidarity or mutual support. Instead, the townspeople are shown to be suspicious and cliquish, with certain individuals singled out for blame or ostracism. This dynamic is particularly evident in the way that Mary and Jean are treated by their neighbors. While some people offer them assistance and sympathy, others are quick to judge them and make assumptions about their behavior. Mary is seen as cold and aloof, while Jean is seen as hysterical and attention-seeking. These stereotypes reflect the narrow-mindedness and intolerance that can emerge in times of crisis, as people look for scapegoats and ways to distance themselves from their own pain and fear. Overall, the Worst is Yet to Come is a powerful and moving story that highlights the complexity of human emotions and relationships in the face of adversity. By exploring the ways in which trauma can shape our behavior and worldview, and the challenges of building community in times of crisis, Miskowski creates a nuanced and thought-provoking portrait of life in the aftermath of a disaster. The story's haunting final image of the sisters standing in the ruins of their former home, staring out at a world that seems to offer little hope or comfort, is a testament to the resilience and perseverance of the human spirit, even in the face of the darkest of circumstances.